The Daydate is a masterpiece of a watch. Its image is prestige, luxury, and achievement, and all that comes across when putting it on the wrist. But with its high price of admission, could you configure a Datejust 36 to serve the same purpose at one third the cost? And could the Datejust be a Daydate Mini? For me, the Champagne Daydate is the gold standard of the Rolex 36mm dress watch, and maybe even the quintessential Rolex out of any model. Starting in 1956, it was the first watch to display the full day of the week and the day of the month. And now, as its flagship model, it's uh, still only produced in full precious metal. The extra weight in its compact form is noticeable and it's reassuring that it's solid gold and flawless in build quality. The bracelet is extremely comfortable with no extra wiggle or play. It has uh, three pieces across each link. The hidden crown clasp adds a slim, simple elegance to the underside profile. All the current models now have the ceramic sleeves over the pins, so potentially this bracelet will resist stretch even better than a steel jubilee. The size and proportions of the Oyster case are perfect for my wrist. I love wearing this with a suit, but even with summer casual, it's very doable. The Datejust has its own rich history, uh, coming out in 1945 in solid gold and with a Jubilee bracelet. It was the first Rolex with a date window at 3 o'clock. It's no longer made in solid gold, uh, but this configuration with the fluted bezel and Jubilee bracelet uh, comes the closest to looking like a day date. Even with its shine and reflections, it's not as conspicuous as the day date and it's more versatile. Pairing it with an Oyster bracelet can turn it sporty, and I would feel comfortable changing out the bracelet for a leather strap uh, for another totally different look. In the end, each of these is fantastic in its own right. They're not siblings, uh, one is not the offspring of the other, uh, but I would treat them more as cousins. Each is different and each has its own strengths. The Datejust can't take the place of the day date. It can't match its uh, prestige and that feeling of solid gold. And the day date uh, can't take the place of the Datejust either with its daily wearability and comfort, accessible price point, and sporty looks. There's a time and place for each of these, and that's why I still own both of them. <laughs> 